you want a meal in minutes, you have got to cook smart. So I have laid out all my ingredients, all my equipment, everything is ready to go. I've got a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna add a generous amount of salt into this for our gnocchi. You want that water to taste like the sea. That's what you're going for. Now, first job, paste. We've got garlic, I've got a lovely bit of salt, and I'm just gonna mash this until it's nice and smooth. There are plenty of ways of preparing garlic, but this has to be one of my favorites. Using a tiny bit of sea salt, you get this gorgeous pungent paste that is just gonna inject flavor into anything you use it in. Alongside this paste, I'm gonna chop up some rosemary. Just one sprig of this will infuse this chicken with so much flavor. Give it a nice fine chop. To this, a little touch of lemon zest. And now you have three powerful flavors that we're gonna inject into some softened butter. You've got the lemon zest, you've got the rosemary, you've got the garlic, and now all you gotta do is fold them into that glorious butter. Right, look at that. This is a powerhouse of flavor, and it's gonna make our chicken change from an average old chicken breast into something absolutely gorgeous. So, in to our pan that is now nice and hot. I've got a touch of oil. I've got two lovely chicken breasts. I'm gonna season them up with a generous bit of salt and pepper, and we're gonna get them straight into the pan. Give them a last little season with more salt and pepper. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of butter on this one, and a little bit of butter on this one. We need to talk about a sauce. For my sauce, tomatoes. Very simple, that's the one ingredient you're gonna need, and we're gonna slice them in half. Even if you have the most miserable looking tomatoes, this method is a surefire way to bring them to life. A Little bit of heat, and they just start to sing. I've sliced up most of these tomatoes, but I do wanna leave one or two whole, just the smaller ones, so they have an opportunity to cook out and burst a little bit. Let's check on our chicken. These are looking pretty good, so I'm gonna turn them over. Oh, look at that color. That is what you're after. Lovely bit of color there, and I'm gonna finish off the other side with the rest of the butter. A little butter here, and a little butter on this one. And at this point now, it's time to get in there with our tomatoes. So, just tumble them straight in. This is Meals and Minutes right here. Season the tomatoes with salt and pepper. Give it a little shake. Let those tomatoes come alive in the pan. Our pan is looking good at this point. It's time to get on with some gnocchi. I'm gonna tumble these in to our pot of boiling water. And the best thing about gnocchi is that they are a true meals in minutes cheat ingredient because they only take three minutes to cook. As soon as they come up to the top, you're ready to go. The great way of knowing that gnocchi is cooked is that it rises to the top, so you're pretty much guaranteed to not overcook it if you keep an eye on it. Just use a slotted spoon and start fishing that gnocchi straight out and into our tomatoes. Look at that. That starchy water that I'm bringing across with the gnocchi, even though it's a small amount, is gonna help mix together with that butter in the pan and give you the most gorgeous creamy sauce. And now, give that pan a little bit of a shake and just using a spoon, tease the sauce into those gorgeous little pieces, those nuggets of gnocchi. Get everything coated, get everything involved. And now, let's plate it up. You want a really generous amount of that gnocchi. Chicken breast goes on top. Right, final flourishes. Basil, extra virgin olive oil, and a good bit of pecorino cheese. Lovely fresh hit of basil. Nice torn leaves in here. And imagine this, coming in from work with a handful of ingredients. You've dinner to the table with less than 15 minutes prep. Mm. Yes, that is just a gorgeous weeknight meal. Made in minutes with only a handful of ingredients. That's my kind of cooking.